Hey folks, it's I'm at once again, just doing the random vlog, and uh, it's going to sound really stupid, but right off the bat, if I sound weird, it's 10.40 as I do this in the morning, and it's already started off weird, because the most random thing happens, um, I had four hours of sleep, and I woke up, and I'm fine. Then I wanted to throw up, but yet I'm not sick. So I'm guessing it was what I ate last night. So threw up once, and I took the wild this a cherry Pepto Bismol type thing. So that's going good. Thankfully, I have the day off, so I'm just relaxing, drinking water. I know no one wanted to hear that. <laughs> it's like too much information, but. <clears throat> uh, I know, it's a really sw weird, stupid way it started. <clears throat> But, uh, <clears throat> no portion of this vlog is about the fact that uh, I almost have uh, 2,000 subscribers. I don't say I have 2,000, because uh, right now it's over 2,000, but by the time I upload this, it could be under, because, you know, you gain some, you lose some, it's, it can kind of be like this teeter-totter. <clears throat> So, but it's close enough, and close enough is fine with me, just like with the ladies, you're close enough. But, uh, mainly just, uh, thanks to people out there for watching my stuff, putting up with my stuff. Um, <clears throat> glad you guys have been enjoying this stuff so far. Um, have a little something planned that I'm going to upload after this, and this basically is a 2000 sub um, special, even if I have under, I'll just call it 2000 sub just for the hell of it. <coughs> I'll be uploaded after this. Um, something I don't usually do. But at the same time, it's very long uh, and very cool. At least, I think it's cool. Uh, and might not be everybody's cup of tea, but something I really wanted to do. <clears throat> Found some new uh, recording stuff for it. And as well as... I can say right here, if you're a fan of Nintendo, you'll really enjoy uh, what will be coming next. Because <coughs> I know a uh, guy on here, uh, John Rambo 8934 he was asking for my 2,000 subs. Am I going to make a special video? And he said, uh, well, how about at the movie theater or something like that? Um, and the thing is with the movie theater, um, I record via webcam. So in order to record the webcam, I would have to take the entire laptop with me. I don't actually have like a video camera. Um, so I wouldn't be able to do anything at an actual uh, movie theater. But, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I figured I'd do that. I know I know I sound off, I sound like a zombie, but, uh, that's how it is right now. <clears throat> but I figure, you know, just want to let people know on that. Uh, and then after that, it would be like random reviews on films like uh, Virtuosity. Mind Hunters, Taken, Hard Rain, stuff like that. 
Not really taking requests yet right now. Just want to get caught up with the stuff I have here that I've recorded and such, but I don't want to upload them all in the same day. <coughs> and <coughs> might as well talk about the go through movie news since I this is only five minutes up. They are going for at least another five, ten minutes. Uh, <coughs> so I'm at Cinema Blend just looking through the news. Pit, new picture uh, Prometheus <coughs> review uh, you can see the suits for the space jockeys <coughs> I can't help it I just don't care I know friends of mine do care I just do not care about Prometheus I don't I mean, they think they're going to say the Alien franchise with this prequel, but then this old... It's not. It's not a prequel. Yeah, that's why there's a space jockey and Wailing yutani and... <clears throat> if they're so proud of it, why didn't they just admit it in the first place? Mm. A little info on the time travel thriller Looper, which actually looks interesting as Bruce Willis, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, um, same director who did Brick, which I enjoy with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. <clears throat> Joseph Gordon-Levitt plays a killer whose victims are sent back in time. One day he encounters a tardy played by Bruce Willis, only to realize that it's an older version of himself. So I think that's pretty cool. The best parallel I can draw is to the first Terminator movie where time travel is used to set up this impossible situation between these people and then that situation plays itself out. <coughs> but it just sounds interesting, Looper. I like the actors involved. Uh, let's see. Golden Globe Award winners. It's funny because they had all this hype, right? All this crap about Ricky Gervais hosting it last time and doing this and doing that. Yet they have him host again. And apparently there were really no problems, so I really don't understand that. <laughs> And the big winners were like uh, George Clooney's movie The Descendant, some comedy named The Artist. George Clooney won for Best Actor for The Descendants. Meryl Streep won for Best Actress. I haven't seen any of those movies, so I don't really care. Jack and Jill, the Adam Sandler flick, Blu ray heads to Holmes in March. So you need to pick that up. Let me know how it is. If it's, you know, for free, I guess I'll see it. <clears throat> Jeffrey D. Morton to play Chloe Moritz's dad in The Rut. The young girl who seeks to earn the approval of her father by traveling deep into the dangerous wilderness to put the hunting and survival skills that he has passed down to her to the test. <clears throat> I like Jeffrey D. Morton. Cormorants. Will Jack the Giant Killer writer give the Goosebumps movie a first start? I I know that I'll have some friends who remember Goosebumps, but the I don't know how much of the general public actually remembers Goosebumps. And if you don't know what Goosebumps is, again, I can't really blame you. I remember these though. It's these books. Which they did make movies out of. I know because we have them for rent at where I work. At Mr. Movies. <clears throat> I remember reading a couple of them. I mean, they're basically horror stories, but for kids. You know? Night of Living Dummy, Deep Trouble, stuff like that. 
<clears throat> I know some of the covers were really cool too of these uh, goosebumps. It is weird though that they're thinking of doing a movie on Goosebumps. Again, it's not like, you know, <coughs> a lot of people are like, oh my god. I don't know, maybe it has a bigger fan base than I think, but. And they're thinking, well, you know, it's going to be more for kids. Well, it made sense. It was a kid's book. But I know there's a lot of older people who remember Goosebumps, reading Goosebumps. Fantastic Four reboot. The front runner to direct is this guy named... Uh, who directed uh, that found footage from Chronicle, which isn't out yet. For fuck's sake. But they really want this guy to direct the new Fantastic Four film. I don't understand why we need a reboot of Fantastic Four. I don't mind the first Fantastic Four, to be honest. Um, the second film... I've seen so much worse than the second film, to be perfectly honest. I mean, the second film isn't great. But I've seen so much fucking worse movies than, you know, Rise of the Silver Surfer. I really have. You know, why don't you just make a third film with the cast, but get a new writer-director? You know, if people have a problem with Tim's story, that's all you do. Lionsgate and Summit merging. I don't know. I know some people have said it seems, feels like bad news. And it may end up continuing the Twilight franchise past Breaking Dawn, so. <clears throat> but of course, because it's a big moneymaker, they want to keep making it, you know. Just when you were hoping that Twilight was going to disappear. Marcus Nispel's new film, Hired to Direct, Graphic Novel Adaptation, Hack Slash. Files Cassie Hat, who begins as the embodiment of what Carol Clover calls the final girl, and her amazing analysis of horror flicks in her book, Men, Women, Chainsaws, before turning the convention on his head and having her pursue serial slashers across the country and bring them to bloody justice. Accompanying her on her quest is an imposing protector named Vlad. So uh, a slasher killer is coming after her. She's the fire girl but she fights back and then hunts down serial killers. Okay. Marcus Nispel can be. Uh, I, I'm not. I was not the biggest fan of Conan, really, but you know. depends who they cast as the girl. You guys can, you know, ask who you like cast in that role. I can't really think of anything. Apparently, the the right the creator of Deadpool. Kind of made a hint that 20th century fuff phase. That apparently they shot eight minutes of Deadpool test footage. And I don't know what the whole deal about that was. I mean, apparently it was shot to see whether they will do the film or. And it's like, okay, you're not going to see the test footage. It still may or may not fucking happen. 
fuck is the point then? I'm sure, some hacker will find that footage somehow. Oh, I saw the trailer to a pretty interesting little independent film, Indie Games, the movie. Dives into the world of independent video games. Basically, people, independent folks who make these video games. And, uh, definitely looked like it was well shot. Um. <clears throat> Although, at first, when I saw the trailer, I thought it was actually going to be just, you know, the hundreds and hundreds of people who actually made video games and, like, that website Newgrounds and stuff like that. But uh, seems to sound like two, three people. Spielberg drops hints at Ten Ten Parts Two and Three. I didn't know Avengers Ten Ten was that big of a hit to do a two or three. Grown Ups Two is set for July two thousand thirteen release date. Well, it depends who they got bad and then you bad. I mean, I like the first grown ups. I didn't mind the first grown ups. <clears throat> Joss Reedon explains why the Avengers will focus on Captain America. Um, I, I can see that, though. Because I did mention on my Captain America review that it was interesting when he wakes up and, you know, he's in our time, but. That story appeals to me more than, you know, back in the age of World War Two. <clears throat> That's just how it is, though. That just that story just appeals to me more. So I'm fine with that. I mean again, Chris Evans himself was, you know, not my problem with Captain America. He was good. It's just I don't know. Maybe it's a movie I gotta watch it in and it'll warm up more and more. It could be. It's happened before on movies. With everybody. There are movies where you see ones in it. And the opposite. You love it, then you just fuck it. <clears throat> Contraband. Got no more in the box office. That sucks. <laughs> Apparently, Tim Burr may be somewhat involved in the Beetlejuice sequel. I hope that is true. Him and Michael Keane need to get back for that. That's a movie I would actually see of Tim Burton's. I really would. It's been too long since the Beetlejuice movie. Maybe then they can actually get a good... Did they even make a good fucking special edition of Beetlejuice? What the fuck? It's not like Michael Keaton's that busy nowadays. New Expendables 2 picture shows off the game's first female member. Mm -hmm. Even though she's not doing any action, but I know people will say, well, maybe it's not filmed yet. Still don't understand. I mean, yeah. Sure, if I talk more, I'll get into trouble again. <laughs> but uh, there was an interview I saw done in Poland with Chuck Norris. And, you know, Chuck Norris, he's you know kind of into religion. Um, he tells about his role in Spendables 2, which again I didn't know. He said, like, he's a, a character who pops in every now and again to save everybody, which I think that's actually kind of fun. I didn't know he would say that, otherwise I wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> but then he talks about how there's a big possibility that Expendables 2 will be PG-13. Now, I know people... <laughs> the reason I'm not ranting... Is because I know someone's going to say, A, well, Matt, they said the same thing for the first film and it became rated R. 
and are second, and they're going to say, well, man, you like Battle Los Angeles and Die Hard 4, and those were PG-13. Guilty as charged. But, uh... If it, if it does become PG-13, though... I'm like, see? I had a bad feeling. Possibility that Dexter could be headed to the bid screen. I've seen a few episodes of Dexter. I mean, I thought it was okay, but at the same time, it's not like I... It didn't make me want to watch the rest of the damn show, to be honest. It's 20 minutes. I'll end on this one, the, the best part, folks. There's a big possibility that Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone will come together on a project called The Tomb. And I will admit, this one I'm actually more excited about than anything this year. Does those two actually star in it? It would be nice. That's what I wanted for Spendables 2. That's my point. But, you know, this internet changes every other week, so, you know, you always got to take things. But, they got a director. Michael Hafstrom. Grant, he directed the crappy The Right. But he did direct 1408, and I do like 1408. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but I do enjoy 1408. I enjoy John Cusack. I enjoy Samuel Jackson. I especially enjoy John Cusack's performance. The idea alone, being trapped in this hotel room, it seems like every damn thing that can happen does happen to the poor guy. Um, I like that they actually chose for the better ending. For the one they got released, so I enjoy that. Um, and I like the idea of this film. Stallone would play the designer of an impenetrable prison who must work against his own creation when he's framed and improperly jailed by an antagonist. Now, I do think it would be super awesome if that antagonist happened to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, because, I mean, you had a guy doing it who's done horror films, horror thrillers. So I like that idea. It's like, okay, you know. And I don't know, I think it'd be cool just to see those two alone star in a movie. Alone. Whether, you know, Arnold would play the warden, or... And I just think that'd be very cool. And I do hope that happens. But, you know, things change. But uh, if that's true, Arnold and Sly in a film called The Tomb. And if it kind of reminds me of Fortress. You know, an impenetrable... An impenetrable prison. I just, I can't have that. It reminds me of Fortress with Christopher Lambert, and I like Fortress. I really do. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, and uh, I'll upload this. And then stay tuned for the new video that'll be coming up. I hope you enjoy. And. You know, it's going to have like a weird title to that's the name of it, but hope you guys take a look and enjoy. Later.